here. There's Kim. And we're hiking uh, from Lake Winfield Scott, the wreck area over here by the lake. And we are gonna take the uh, um, the Slaughter Creek Trail to connect with the Appalachian Trail to Blood Mountain. And then we're gonna come back on the Gerard Gap Trail. Uh, it's gonna be a nice uh, about 8.6 mile loop hike today. So yeah, we got a nice, really beautiful cloudy day cloudy rainy day but it works here we are getting started on the Calder Creek Trail 2.7 miles to the Appalachian Trail and I think it's a point point nine once we get on the Appalachian Trail to Blood Mountain we are crossing the bridge over Slaughter Creek on this wet afternoon. We got some nice stone stairs going up this Auto Creek Trail. We're probably close to a mile to maybe the AT connector. But we're going uphill and it's uphill majority of the way. Well, this has been our view for the day walking through this great foggy abyss but it's been enjoyable it's sprinkled a little bit and been nice and cool so that's a good thing but we should be getting close to where the uh, AT connects with the Slaughter Creek Trail uh, we still got a good bit more uphill to do uh, so we'll catch you later so we are 7.7 miles from uh, the top of Blood Mountain and as you get to the 0.7 miles from Blood Mountain going southbound there's about uh, 10 maybe 10 or so maybe a little bit more uh, nice camp spots <laughs> Back on the Appalachian Trail, about a mile from uh, uh, Jet Gerard Gap Trail, and as you can tell, maybe you can tell, I don't know, but it's starting to pour down rain on us. Uh, but anyways, it's fun. It's cold. Uh, we met some interesting people today. Met a couple from Illinois. Drove 11 hours just to hike up Blood Mountain. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're gonna move so we can get out of this rain. So we're coming up on uh, the Gerard Gap. Right up here. Uh, it's been a nice hike thus far. It's been really wet and some heavy winds. But we're getting into the crossing of Gerard Gap and then we'll be headed back down the Gerard, Gerard Gap throughout to our car. We are now going down the Gerard Gap Trail and just a little bit of uh, information here. Gerard Gap splits off right there and comes down this dirt road um, off the AT. But if you keep if you keep following this dirt road, it uh, actually takes you back to the same place we're going, which is Lake uh, Winfield Scott. Um, but if you would rather walk the trail, you just take a left at these double blazes and follow the trail that way but either way you'll get back to the same place and it's the same distance we're about about two miles from uh lake winfield scott area so we're hiking down the gerard gap trail and we come across some cabins out through the distance we see three of them but that's really cool 
one more bit of information. Once you get off the Gerard Gap Trail, you'll come out to a road, like a has an intersection in the in the road. What you do is you, to get back to the Lake Winfield Scott Park. Turn right first off the trail, then you'll take a left, which is pretty noticeable. There's a blaze and an arrow pointing to the left. If you go straight, to, if you go straight across, there's somebody's driveway straight across. So you'll turn left right there and you just keep walking straight and you just follow this road back and you'll end up at the, the parking lot. You'll pass the nice campground too um, off the road and if you want to you can follow you can follow the road you see it keeps going to the left right there or you can come across this bridge and follow the little campground trail back to Lake One Scott. I mean it doesn't matter either way. But uh, they got a lot of nice tent camp spots. They got a bathroom, bathhouse up there. I don't know if that's a shower or not, I doubt it. But uh, really nice, really nice. Um, but yeah, cool place. Yeah, I think it costs $10 to rent, to rent a, to stay for the night up here though. Well, we have just finished our loop hike. And next just started to rain again. But we had a we had a nice hike, uh, about eight eight point six miles. It was a nice little loop. Uh, maybe next time when we can come do this hike again, uh, it'll be the sun will be out and we'll have some some views. Cause all all we got today was a lot of clouds and some fog. So, but it was it was really nice. The campground, really beautiful lake. Uh, but yeah, the campground over here is nice. I mean, everything over here is nice. 